Lego fear mongering. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Stop titling the videos like that. Okay, dude, look, this is actually alarming. It is. And I saw people freaking out about this on Twitter, some in an exaggerated, satirical way, others in a lot more of a legitimately concerned way. So I do think there is room to kind of look at what's going on here and say, okay, uh, that's not ideal, but we still do have the benefit of the doubt, right? So let's go out there and read an article that was published on, okay, I'm going to butcher this, sportasunters.com. Sports Center? Sports Center? Yeah, okay, that kind of makes sense. This is a Latvian article written and published by Janis Kelmans, and the title, translated from Latvian into English, reads this. Despite the overload, Arthur Shilovs will be ready to start the Olympic qualification tournament. Now, what the hell does that mean? Oh boy. What this means, literally speaking, is that Artur Silovs, current Vancouver Canucks goaltender and obvious Latvian goaltender, will be ready for the Olympic qualification tournament, but right now there's a little bit of a hiccup in the road because he's apparently being overloaded. I don't know, that's the way the title is phrased. Let's go out there and read the body of the piece to try to get a better understanding here. And I gotta go all satire Shaw on y'all before we dive into this, because this is one of the more, let's just say, poorly translated languages that the Google machine can offer. Like, sure, some of them are very direct and easy to translate, but I feel like a lot of these Slavic, even Balto-Slavic languages are a lot more difficult to translate properly from Google. So we have to take this with a grain of salt. You can't just go out there and read the article and take everything at face value because Google could be wrong. Yeah, believe it or not, sometimes the Google machine does screw things up once in a while. Either way, let's go out there and read this piece, try to get introduced as to what's going on here. Despite the overload, which the head coach of the Latvian national team, Harris Vitolins, informed media representatives about this evening after the test game against Team Denmark, goaltender Artur Silovs will be ready to start the qualifying tournament for the Olympic Games. In yesterday's test match against the Danes, Kristers Guzlevskis, and by the way, I only know how to say that because he was in Hockey Ultimate Team, was entrusted with the safety of the goal of the Latvian national team. But today, Gustavs Grigals took the place in goal. The potential Latvian national men's team's goalie, Silovs, watched both games as a spectator, and he has not played since the end of his NHL season on May 21st. Vitolins, the coach, will name the squad for the qualification tournament of the Olympic Games, which will start on Thursday in the Arena Riga. On Wednesday, making it clear that he is counting on Shilovs as a number one. He is ready to start the tournament. If I'm not mistaken, he has had his first training session already on June 12th, and he is overworked. Since then, he's been training four times a week. Arthur is in good physical condition, he is currently overworked, and the medical staff determined that the danger limit of turning the situation into a chronic injury is high. We decided to protect him a little. Let's see, commented the head coach of the Latvian national team. And, um, okay, what? What? This is why we can't just go out there and take things at face value, because sometimes there are exaggerations and extra words thrown in there that Google tries to put to contextualize sentences better, but Artur Silovs, if you just read this article at face value, is apparently at a high likelihood of getting dangerously injured if he gets worked a little bit harder? Yeah, no, we're gonna have to reread that middle part. He is overworked, the coach said. Since he has been training four times a week, Arthur is in good physical condition, but he is currently overworked and the medical staff determined that the danger limit of turning the situation into a chronic injury is high. So, essentially, what they're saying is, because Silovs is in this spot where apparently he's overworked and he could get injured, they don't want to play him in these qualification practice games. They're letting the other goaltenders, Gudlevskis and the other guy, Grigals, take the reins instead. And for Arthur Silovs, he's sitting out because they don't want to overwork this guy. They don't want him to be hurt. Now, look, I'm making this video on the night of Wednesday, August 28th. By the time it's uploaded on YouTube, it'll already be Thursday, and Team Latvia most likely would already have themselves a game going on because, you know, it's like eight hours ahead compared to Vancouver time, right? So 
Maybe Artur Silovs, by the time this video is already public on YouTube, maybe he's already playing. Maybe he's got himself a start already, and maybe he's doing well. Who really knows? But with all of this in mind, learning from the Latvian team's coaching staff that Artur Silovs is at a high risk for an injury or whatever because he's overworked, that got a lot of Canucks fans a little bit angsty yesterday, and we saw people tweeting out saying, hey, Thatcher Demko is not going to start out the season. Artur Silovs is being overworked and not played because he's at a high chance for an injury. What's going on? Is Yuri Patera going to be the starter for Vancouver this upcoming year? It's going to be Patera and Kevin Lankinen as the 1A, 1B? What happened, bro? Demko and Silovs, man. Demko and Silovs. And you can understand why the panic started to settle in. It's like there's a thunderstorm coming and everybody's freaking out because it's cloudy with a chance of meatballs and nobody wants to get smushed by a big piece of pizza. Either way, though, it has already been announced that the NHL club Vancouver Canucks extended the contract with Shilovs for two seasons this summer. Previously, the Latvian goaltender was recognized as the best goaltender in 2023's World Championships and the MVP of that tournament. The qualifying tournament for the 2026 Milan Winter Olympic Games will be held in Riga from August 29th to September 1st. Latvia will play against Slovenia, Ukraine, and France. Only the winner of this qualification tournament will secure a place in the Olympic Games. Before the upcoming tournament, the Latvian hockey players played two test games against a Danish team, suffering a 3-2 loss yesterday, but celebrating their success today, 5-3. And okay, they actually do have the calendar here. So it seems like Latvia will play Slovenia at, what is that, 20 o'clock? So that's 8 p.m. on August 29th. And so if we assume that Latvia, what time zone is Latvia in? Oh, Latvia is in GMT plus three. We're minus eight over here, so if you minus eight plus three, yeah, so it's 11 hours ahead. Or no, we're not minus eight, we're minus seven, so it's 10 hours ahead. That means that by the time 10 a.m. Vancouver time comes around, we will see whether or not Artur Silovs actually plays in the game against Slovenia. And if he doesn't, then okay, that would just be the coaching staff of the Latvian squad really holding back on wanting to make sure that Silovs is going to be okay and not injury prone. So, of course, this article is not, like, the easiest to understand. It's translated from a foreign language, and some of the translation conversions are wonky here and there. This is what Satir Shah went out there and said about the entire thing. Translation from the Latvia head coach on Shilovs. He's ready to start the tournament. He is overworked. Medical staff determined that the danger limit of this turning into a chronic injury is high. We decided to protect him. Sat says, I'd be careful reading too much into the exact wording because of the translation, but the main takeaway was that he's ready to start the tournament, but he is being rested. So, who knows if the Vancouver Canucks had themselves a hand in this decision, or if it's just straight up the Latvian coaching staff thinking that Shilovs' potential for injury is high. But for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Archer Shilovs, the tournament that's probably going on right now as this video is being publicized on YouTube, and what this entire thing could mean for the Canucks if Shilovs' worst-case scenario ends up missing the start of the Season 2 with Demko. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to 99. And bye.